I gotta be honest, people literally have been going Gary crazy all around the country. I don't know if you know this or not. Are you big into social media? No, not really. Okay, no, you, no. <laughs> you, well, you were actually, for a little while, you were trending on social media, trending. If, if I knew what that meant, I'm sure I would appreciate it a whole lot more. It's a really good thing, Gary. It means people like you and they're talking about you a lot. And we've actually got some of those social media posts that we can share with you. Right. Just kind of let you know what everybody's been saying about you. All right, he's the most wholesome man. I love him. Can't wait to watch. That's good. Wholesome I like. Wholesome is good. Yep. Gary can get it. <laughs> Can't wait to watch his season. So, uh, what does get it mean? I don't think I'm allowed to say on this network what it means. Okay. Th this might be my favorite one of all. Grand Zaddy. It's good, it's good. Okay. Um, so listen, in all seriousness though, I know that you're, you're very serious about this, you're very genuine. Have you thought about that first night at all? Have you thought about what you're hoping to find in these women? Um, I, I think what I'm, I'm most looking for that first night is for one of those women or several of those women to just have that look in their eye, mm. like, oh gosh, okay, I found my own grand zaddy. <laughs> uh, see what I did there? I, I do. <laughs> what about overnight? I think one thing Bachelor Nation is really curious about, are there going to be fantasy suites? Is that something we should expect? I would say yes. Okay. But that's, that's... <laughs> but what they would look like um, might be a little different. That's a long way down the journey. It's a long way. And I think there's a lot of steps that I and a potential partner would need to go through to get to that, mm -hmm. to make it a comfortable situation. Yeah. Have you been watching Charity Season? I have been. Have you? Yeah. So you've been doing your homework? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit, you know. <laughs> and of course, you've seen all these guys as well. What's your impression of all them? Um, I aspire to be like them. <laughs> uh, oh, a bunch of cool guys, yeah. Do you guys have any advice for our first Golden Bachelor here? Anybody have any wisdom to impart onto him? I mean, you, you've done it, man. You've had that relationship, and I say, like, just trust your gut, because you had a relationship that lasted so long, and, I mean, just seeing the photos and everything, it brought tears to my eyes. Like, it was beautiful. I mean, that's what we all aspire for, and so I say stay true to yourself, man, because you got it. Thank you. There is nothing we are going to be able to say to you in order to give you advice. Like, you just told us that you want to be like us. That is dead wrong. Like, we're, we want to be like you, man. Like, you, you're genuine. You're true. We don't see you, man. Thank you. There's, there ain't nothing we're gonna tell you. Thank you. You know, this is sort of a, it's an interesting um, opportunity for me too, because of course you had 43 years of a beautiful love, the love of your life, Tony, your high school sweetheart. Um, I'm a relatively newly married guy myself. Um, I'm gonna be picking your brain throughout this entire thing. Do you have any advice for people out there that are looking for a, a long lasting, happy marriage? <laughs> Jesse, if there's, if there's one thing only that I would tell you or, or anyone else, it's like, look at your spouse every day and tell them you love them. Because the day comes too soon for one of you that you can't do that. And um, it, I would give anything to be able to do that one more time. Tell them that you love them every day. Give them that hug. Yeah. That's such great advice, it's beautiful. Thank you. Gary, I, I gotta ask you, can you find a love like that twice in a lifetime? Well, all right, so your question was, can I find a love like that? Mm -hmm. I don't think that's what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. What I look for at the age of 70 is different than what I looked for when I was in high school and college. Mm -hmm. So I believe I'll find my person the new person that will make me whole again. And I think we'll f knit a wonderful relationship, but I don't think it'll look like the relationship I had with Tony. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it would be right to do it that way. Yeah. I, I love to hear you say that you, you believe you're gonna find your person. I do. I believe you are too. Gary, I think you are such a great example that it's never too late to find love. I feel so honored and lucky that I'm gonna get a chance to go on this journey. There is not a more deserving man to get this opportunity. Oh. So. 
This is going to be a lot of fun. And I just want to say thank you again. Oh, it's so great. I'm to looking forward you. to it. Let's hear it for our first Golden Bachelor, Gary. Oh, man, thanks, guys.